I was going to have Luke come up. Where did Luke go? Oh, come on down, Luke. <laughs> he has an amazing testimony. Him and Sabrina. Sabrina's helping today in toddlers. So I was going to just have Luke. I'm going to go back to toddlers. I'll have Luke share this, and then Jason take over. So uh, God's been doing some cool stuff in, in, in me and my wife's life uh, for the past couple weeks. Um, <clears throat> my wife got offered a part-time job at Bargersville Fire Department as, a, as an EMT, which is a huge deal for us. So that was really, really awesome. Um, I ended up applying at Morgan County EMS over here, and I wasn't sure if I was going to get the job. Um, I think they interviewed like four or five people. Um, and I ended up getting getting the job as a PRN, which is like kind of yeah. uh, <laughs> just kind of like a part-time fill-in when you can. And I was excited about that. Um, and then I got offered. Uh, it was like a couple days later. Um, I got offered a full-time position at that same place. So yeah, and it, it was totally one of those things where like it probably shouldn't have happened. There was no way it, it could have happened except for God just honored honored my my heart to do that. And He's just blessed us so much. Um, we we met a couple um, that we, we, we need a new a new washer, and we ended up meeting a couple that was just on fire for Jesus. And they gave us a new couch, and uh, my dad got a new headlight in his truck for free, and just just blessings and blessings and blessings, and it's just been awesome. So. That's pretty much what's been going on, but <laughs> just overwhelming blessings for sure. So. Yeah, anybody else have any, I'm a little bit hot. Does anybody else have any testimonies of the goodness of God? Can you come up? Because you're on camera. Yeah. No. Um, I drove without any heat. And I drove hundreds of miles and didn't know why. I had a broken radiator. In two days, I probably drove 200 miles on a broken radiator. No antifreeze, no water, and almost came to blowing the motor up. <laughs> and so uh, the next day, I couldn't work, so I got that fixed. And the next day I went to work, I had to come back off the road and say, something's right, not right. And uh, they took care of it, filled the tire. But Saturday, which was yesterday, I said, I want that tire off and I want to find out what's wrong with it. They found a nail that big in it. So I have nothing but God's favor. Yeah. Nothing but God's favor. The radiator's fixed and I can drive. Yeah, it's just amazing that she drove 200 miles with no way for you. That's, I, don't think you I don't think you can do that. Um, I really, don't, I really don't think you could do that. Do we have any bids on this painting right now? <laughs> it's already gone. Somebody's already bought it. Wow, that's crazy. Not until I get a picture. Not until she gets a picture. <laughs> oh, you guys bless me so much. Um, anyway, I was just thinking about um, the harvest. I mean, this is harvest time, absolutely. And the verse that the Lord gave me for this painting is in Psalm. It's 67.6, and it says, the earth has yielded its produce. Our, it's yielded its harvest, and God, our God, blesses us. And that's what this represents. You know, now's the time where not only are we harvest in the natural with, you know, just crops and so on, but the Lord's just really been speaking to my heart about the harvest of souls and how we're to go out and we're to bring them in. And I had a dream years ago about harvest time, and I saw that there were people bringing the harvest to the church. They were like in baskets. I just saw all these baskets of tomatoes, and the Lord began to speak to me about how we're to preserve the harvest. And he was really, um, I just felt like, you know, so strongly that as we witness to people, as we win those souls, that we have to give them Jesus. And that's what's going to preserve their souls. 
And so, yes, it's a time of harvest. Yes, we're to go out and bring them in, but we're also to give them Jesus so that their eternity, you know, will be secure in him. So that's what this represents. It's just harvest time and uh, the Lord's blessings. Thank you. Yeah.